has just found 10 more Earth sized planets that could support life. They didn't just find 10. They found 219 new planets. I'm gonna fill you in here for you on IO. What is good, space potatoes? My name is Charlotte, and this is Inform Overload. NASA announced that the Kepler telescope has found 10 planets outside our solar system that are the same size as Earth and the right temperature to potentially support alien life. These planets also circle a star very similar to our Sun. Our planet is within something called the Goldilocks zone. That means it's the right distance from the Sun for the temperature of the planet to be just right so that liquid water can be on the surface. Kepler actually spotted around 49 planets in the Goldilocks zone, but some of them are not the same size as Earth. According to Mario Perez, one of the scientists on the project, because of the accumulation of 4 years of data showing that Earth like planets are actually pretty common, we are probably not alone. What? Yes! This new discovery means that Kepler has found a total of 50 planets that exist in habitable zones within our galaxy. Alright, so we know there are a lot of planets like Earth that could potentially support life, but how will we ever know for sure if those planets actually have aliens on them that we can hug? So there's this new telescope, it's called the James Webb Telescope. It's going to replace the Hubble Telescope in 2018. The James Webb Telescope will actually be able to detect the molecular makeup of atmospheres of exoplanets, and it will also be able to find signatures of potential life forms. Alright guys, that's all I have for you on that, I'm going to respond to some comments now. In a previous video, I asked you guys if you would want to live in space. Kyla Rin said, I'd be in it for the real estate value, I'd kill for a view of both the Earth and the Moon. I like your thinking Kyla. How dope would it be to have a bedroom with a view of the moon? Yeah. Mr. Fresh Gamer said, no, I don't want to live in space because I can't watch IO. Oh, that's nice. I think that they would probably find a way to have internet in space though. Just uh, just a guess. Daniel S said, I can imagine Charlotte hosting IO in space. Dude, same these. I wouldn't need a green screen anymore for space videos. We could just film IO in front of a window. And then there's Earth, just right there. That is all for now. Thanks for watching IO. Smash the like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our channel for all your trending news, and I'll see you in the next video.